See, Philippians 3.12 says, not that I've already attained or am I already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press towards the goal. I press toward my champion, the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. You see, you can't reach out for your destiny while you're still holding on to your history. You can't reach for your tomorrow while you're still holding on to your yesterday. See, Hebrews 12, 12 goes on. He says, therefore strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated. Did you hear that? If you carry that long enough, the part of you that's carrying it will be so tired it will become lame. And eventually it'll become dislocated. And you see, there are those that you have an orphan spirit. You can't receive love. And I believe Jesus wants to heal that tonight. It's not easy. It's not easy to forgive. In fact, I don't believe humanly we can fully forgive. But I believe we have to decide to forgive. We have to let it go and say, Lord, let your grace, let your blood, let your healing virtue, let it set me free. See, my friend, some of you have been carrying it so long because they deserve revenge. They hurt you. But you see, unforgiveness is like you drinking poison and waiting for them to die. It'll paralyze your race. See, I'm trying to preach to somebody. God's anointed you. His spirit is in you. There's a work for you to do. Our time is short. We got to run this race. We got to win the harvest. We got to shake cities. We got to shake regions. We got to shake Orlando. And it's time in order to run our race. We got to let go of the baggage. See, it takes strength to let go. Jesus said in Luke 17, it's impossible that no offenses will come. But woe to him through they, who they, whom they do come. You see, offenses are going to come. You're going to get offended. Some of you are getting offended right now. I shout too much. I sweat too much. You're getting offended. Jesus said, it's part of the race. You're going to get offended, but you'd be shocked how offense can kill revival. You'd be shocked at some of the things I've seen. It started as an offense. It started small. It was something you could just kick along the way. You just could kick it along every now and again, but suddenly... You started to make that offense part of your identity. See, that offense gets bigger and bigger. And when you've carried it for long enough, it's so heavy and you don't want anybody to see it that you put a big lock and it becomes the playground of the enemy. You see, if you're going to be a disciple, you've got to let it go. If you're going to be anointed, you've got to let it go. If you're going to love, you've got to let it go. If you're going to step into your promise, you've got to let it go. Yes, you did wrong. Yes, you failed. But you've got to let the baggage go. See, if you're not careful... Satan will load you with so much baggage that it takes all your energy to maintain your history rather than fixing your eyes on the champion and saying, Lord, with all my heart, with all my strength, with all that I have, I'm running, I'm pursuing after you. Are there any pursuers in the house tonight? Give Jesus a mighty shout of praise. 
We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.